Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 76. As you can see, we're in a different location than we were at the end of the last episode. We're going to change gears a little bit in this episode since it is a double experience points weekend. I figured that it would probably be a good idea to go someplace where perhaps I could find some high level enemies to shoot and hopefully kill and get the most experience points that I can. So we are outside of Arctos Pharma. I mentioned in the last episode that uh, I was reminded in the comments that there was this high level event taking place in the basement of this place. So uh, I figured we'd come back here and see if it's something that uh, I can do now that I'm level 60. Uh, so we're gonna turn off this uh, miscellaneous quest right now, just so that it's off my screen. And then I'm going to go in here I'm not going to open my perk pack yet, but what I am going to do is I'm going to move a point uh, because I know that I want to put more stuff into perception. Um, but what do I want to take points out of? Um, probably charisma. I don't really care about any of this stuff. I don't even use blood packs, so I don't even know why I've got this thing equipped. So let's unequip that thing. We are going to... Let's see here. Um... Go here, move a point, take it out of Charisma, and put it into Perception. Okay, so that's what I did there. And um, I don't think there's really anything else I could do right now. I mean, yes, I could open my perk pack, but I don't know what perks I want at the moment. Uh, so if I go in here, I go into Perks. Yeah, okay, so I can't choose a new perk right now, but I can go ahead and just put a pick lock on here so that when I come across locks, uh, I could unlock the lower level ones. Let me go ahead and take a couple drinks of water. Let me go ahead and eat a little bit of food so that we're all maxed out and ready to... Uh, boy, I could accidentally drink that. Um, ready to go into this place. Now, this is an event. Um that I hope that I spawn or I hope that spawns once I get closer to this thing um, I actually looked real quick online to see how to spawn the event it's called Project Paradise and I really didn't get a good answer um, I know that in the lobby of this place that there's an elevator that I'm supposed to go to and I'm hoping that that will, s will trigger the event if it doesn't well this might just be a huge waste of time so we got some Scorched running around out here. Oh, good lord, a level one Scorched? Really? Wasted my ammo on these things? Freaking level one Scorched? There's a lot of them running around. <laughs> Did you see that guy? Hey, what's up? I should get out my melee weapon, but... Alright, this is ridiculous. Uh, I think I want to go down there. And, um... There's an elevator I'm supposed to take. All these dogs running around. Level 1 enemies. Let's see if I can find this elevator. Is this the elevator? I think this is it. So hopefully... When I go down here, it's going to trigger... Yeah, there we go. Biome Lab level 50 plus. There we go. So hopefully this is it. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't really read a lot about this event because I didn't want to spoil it. But um, I did see a sentence that said something like, uh, you know, might be a good idea to bring a group with you. I'm like, okay, well. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Oh. Okay. Wow, there is um, already some craziness going on down here. I don't know if these Mr. Gutsies are going to be friendly or not. Probably not, let's face it. They're probably not going to be friendly. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Where is all this noise coming from? Who's shooting who? This is an unfriendly... Well, that was a pretty high-level dude right there, man. <laughs> so it's sounding like um, this is one of those places where, oh gosh, enemies get uh, respawned indefinitely. 
Okay, that took way too many hits to kill that guy. Yikes. Yikes, I say. Wow. I mean, I feel like just kind of like hanging out here. And, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, an Assaultron. I feel like just hanging out here and letting this fight go on. Because it sounded like the robots were fighting... Uh, Assaultron. We're fighting um, monsters. And we could let the Assaultron soften up, or the robots soften up the monsters before I get going in here. What's this? This um, is a door. Okay, I'm kind of remembering this a little bit. Very disturbed by how much trouble I had just killing that one Mr. Gutsy out here. Pretty nervous about being down in here, but I mean, I'm level 60. And with y'all's help, I've been able to really, really increase my firepower. Boy, there must be a lot of Sultrons down here. Holy crap. Um, I haven't triggered the event yet. So I'm not really sure where I'm going or what I'm doing. Boy, there is... There's a lot of stuff going on down here. Don't see any other players down here. Oh, there's some stuff going on down there. Oh, okay, we got some glass here. Uh, I think I need to talk to that. I think that's what I need to do. There, see, that's what I'm talking. That's a level 62 ghoul. And we took him out with one sneaky shot. That's, uh, uh that's uh, what I'm uh, talking about. Uh, oh, somebody decided to fight this glowing. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There, see? That's, that's what I, that's what I want to see. I want to see one shot kills. All right, let's go down here and see if we can't start this event. And I'm supposed to be getting double experience points. Oh man, that Assaultron, I can't lock onto him. And I don't want him to see me. I want to stay hidden so I get my sneak attack. Because I'm going to need to do the most amount of damage with my first hit as I can against this guy. Not doing nearly as much damage as I would like. Here it comes. I did not, uh evade that. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. I, kn I should have switched weapons, but um, when you're in VATS, you can't switch weapons, and uh, I'm not really coordinated enough to <laughs> quickly turn off VATS and switch weapons when I'm in under pressure. Okay. Uh, here's Eric 4. Let's activate him. Oh. Okay. Well, I thought that's what would spawn the event, but, um... Is this urgent? I have higher priority tasks in my queue, such as do nothing. Huh. Okay, well, I don't know if I want to be down here if I can't spawn the event. I mean, I could come down here and kill some high-level enemies, but, um... really kind of want to do the event. Let's see what's going on in this mainframe terminal. This is the Arctos Pharma Biome Lab. It's confidential, so don't tell anybody about this, okay? Autonomous Research Intelligence Computer Version 4, otherwise known as ERIC. Project Paradise. Here we go. Goal. Development of a substance that improves users' calmness, confidence, and social skills. And here's some automated logs. A little disturbed that this event hasn't kicked off. Project Paradise has begun. Analyzing results and methodology of Project Genesis and Project White House, or White Mouse, to formulate an effective plan, first priority, financial efficiency. Uh-oh. Uh, analysis complete. So is the is the project over? Am I am I here at the wrong time? Doggone it, I wish I really did try to go online and see if I could understand what the hell's going on here. Like I said, I didn't really find an answer as to how to start this event. Is this is this event no not an event anymore? I mean, this is from a long time ago when they um, put this patch in. So I, I don't even know if this is even an event to do anymore. But I like I said, I couldn't find that answer online. So this analysis so all this analysis is complete. Eric Four combined state of the art 
database management and machine learning algorithms to record, organize, and analyze your results in real time. No more messy paperwork or mental labor. Just sit back, relax, and watch your experiment unfold. Voltec is not responsible for any decisions, results, or errors made by this project. Warranty. Ah, void warranty. Internal code has been altered. So I'm, I'm a little disturbed here because it's looking like this project is over. You know. Um, I'm not, I'm not kicking it off. So. Could we get an engineer to look at this computer ASAP? The damn thing keeps claiming that the current results are good enough, citing my lack of hours on the project as an example of proper lab methodology. Ridiculous. I brought this thing in at the end of White Mouse to make future projects more efficient. Not so I could spend time elsewhere. Those time logs need to be corrected too, please. Okay. Well, um... Doggone it. Sorry, but I cannot process your request right now. Please return in never minutes. Well, this sucks. Um... If there's an event that's supposed to happen... I don't know how to kick it off. But, I don't know, man. I was gonna say, there's there's nothing keeping me from exploring and killing stuff anyway, but it's kinda like, why bother if I'm if the event isn't going on? I'm kinda bummed out, man. Events. Yep, yeah, it's, it's not in here. Shoot, man. I really wanted to do this. Hmm. Well, let's see where I'm in. Where am I in experience points? Experience points. Well, it doesn't really say my number of experience points. At least, not that I know how to see it. Um. Man, this is a bummer, man. Can you not do this event anymore? Oh, looks like one's going to come out right here. There we go. We did a fair amount of damage to him. Uh, I got 198 experience points. I don't know if that's good or not. Sounds pretty good. And then here's this place down here. Got a freaking Assaultron walking around. Surprised I still have a 95 cent chance to hit. Reload. Oh, you're shooting at me. But, uh, did not aim well. Hmm. Well. Oh, hey, how's it going? Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, reveal yourself, says the Assault Tron. It's pretty scary. Well, um, let's look around anyway. We'll uh, shoot some things, get some experience. Maybe while I'm down here, the event will kick off. I don't know. I'm starting to think that this event is just over. It's just not a thing anymore. I don't know how often events um, pop up on the server. Probably depends on the event itself. But I gotta tell you, I'm pretty bummed out, man. 203 experience points. Ooh, how do you open that door? Ooh. Keypad. Beep, boop, 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 boop. That's not the code. Hmm. wonder how I get that code. Looks like a pretty neat place. Oh my. It's like a pretty big place. Oh. What is... What is that? A firefly. You must die, firefly, just simply because you distracted me. Oh. You got more shooting going on over there in Habitat C. Oh. I get five experience points for killing those things. Actually, feel a little bad about it.
But I don't need them distracting me when I'm trying to focus. Here is chemistry station. So, um, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me talk about my recording software woes. I was using OBS for a long time and for whatever reason it would crash in this game. Tea time? Pfft, that's not what I want. Um, it would crash usually when I was fast traveling. So I switched to NVIDIA's um, Shadowplay, which I despise. So anyway, I, I was looking in OBS and I changed some settings. I'm using the new NVIDIA encoder now. Um, which doesn't use S FFmpeg and I believe that the problems I was having was related to FFmpeg. So, uh, for about 15 minutes before I started playing this, I um, just did a bunch of fast traveling while I was recording, and it seemed to work fine. I didn't have any problems. Um, so I'm back to using OBS, and I'm not fast traveling in this episode, so it's not really a good test. Um, but, uh, yeah. So far, so good. I'll keep you updated, because I'm sure you really want to know. This is the real reason why you tune in. You're like, oh, I wonder if Mental Fox has figured out his recording software was. Sure hope he talks about it in this episode. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> I love how these things are like laying on the ground. And then they like they like get up like if they're in bed and I've walked in and woke them up or you know, like the doorbell rang and they're like, ah, oh, jeez, who is it? Ooh, pretty. Ooh, 50 caliber machine gun. I'll take it just for the heck of it. High-powered magnet. I don't know. I don't know. Just picking stuff up. We're just looking around. Some cool stuff down here. Identifying nutrient deficiency symptoms. You can actually read this stuff. Symptoms in old leaves. Effects throughout the plant body lower leaves dry up plant light green lower leaves yellow stalks small stunted growth something leaves all right I'm not gonna read all that but uh, it's kind of cool that you can read it like over here you could even see fear fertilizer materials Boy, somebody put a lot of work into this Already turned into a pile of meat, did you? Gotta get that lead from that pencil. That's so dumb. There's not lead in pencils. I don't know what kind of pencils they're using here. Ooh, military grade duct tape. Yes, please. Oh. You can tell that nerds are here because there's a lot of pencils laying around. Nerds, nerds use pencils. Oh, look at this place. Somewhere out here is that a Saltron. That's not the one. That's a different one. Probably getting ready to shoot at me, and sure enough, it did. But there's another one that is a little bit damaged. That I need to finish off. So now I've got two damaged Assaultrons running around out here. Here comes one of them to say hi right now. Look at that one. Well, you have really bad aim. That was two quick shots. I didn't know they could shoot that quick in succession. Maybe there's two of them down here. That doesn't look like it. Hmm. Damn. No event. I mean, I... I guess it's cool to be able to just walk around and kill stuff. Boy, that one I took out quick. 
and just get experience points, and that's what I wanted in this episode, experience points. But it's not the most exciting thing in the world. I mean, it's cool to, kind of cool to explore this place, but... Just knowing... I guess if I didn't know that there was an event here, this would be fine. Everything would be fine. I would be like, wow, this is really cool. Look at this big, huge, giant place. Of course, the whole time I'd be like, why is this here? Where's the story? But, you know. There's a machine gun turret down there that's almost destroyed completely. Pretty sure there's still an assault tron walking around out here. Ooh, sentry bot. Where is a sentry bot? Those can be scary. Where are you, dude? I want to fight you. This looks like it would be a pretty neat, uh, like a neat multiplayer map. Like a deathmatch map. I did not see this terminal when I was in here before. Ooh! Arctos Pharma Trapped Underground. Yoink. Let's play this. To anyone out there, th this is Dr. Christina Bryan. I'm a botanist employed at a classified laboratory deep underneath the Arctos Pharma facility. We, we were down here when the bombs fell. We held out as long as we could before sending people to the surface to find out what the hell happened. That was a mistake. There was nothing up there except death and these ghoulish creatures. They, they got down here somehow and started taking us out one by one. Our last remaining technician tried to program the security force to recognize these creatures as a threat, but it seems he disabled their targeting parameters instead. They started killing everything. Eight of us have locked ourselves in the lower generator room. If you hear this, please come and save us before it's too late. <laughs> I gotta tell you, in my opinion, that was terrible, terrible, terrible acting. Terrible. Way overacted. I thought that was awful. <laughs> I could not take her seriously. Just my opinion. Uh, there's a terminal here. Food crop research terminal. And uh, here's some quarterly logs. Project Genesis, Dr. Christina Brown, genetically modified food crop research quarterly progress reports. Here's one. Phase one. Creation of stimulated models to aid in early identification of issues and make adjustments accordingly. Phase two. Formulation of process for DNA extraction, gene cloning, gene design, transformation, and back cross breeding. Phase three. Initial experimentation conducted in a controlled underground environment to help circumvent increasingly strict governmental regulations. So that's why they're doing it underground. Uh, the next quarterly log says these things. Phase three is off without a hitch. Studies on genetically enhanced food crops, initially corn, wheat, and tomatoes, have started off promising. Bombarding these vegetables with small doses of radiation in this controlled environment has led to exponential growth, stronger resistance to insects, and time to ripeness cut in half. I might add, I've found the crops to be significantly juicier and more flavorful as well. Quarter three. We've made great strides towards our goals, but have observed potentially negative side effects as a direct counterpart to each enhanced benefit. Utilizing our methods to alter food crop genomes can greatly improve a condition, but only at the cost of another. Additionally, this modification can also negative, negatively impact its surroundings when later introduced to an uncontrolled environment. When we consider the escalating global problems of population and food supply, the usefulness of this process becomes clear despite these concerns. Okay. Uh, hear that sentry bot out there. 
Perceived advantages of crop enhancement process. One, extremely enhanced growth rate. Two, extended life due to natural pest resistance. Three, brand new foods to introduce to market. Four, can feed exponentially increasing population. Perceived disadvantages of crop enhancement process. One, decreased nutritional value. That's what's happening to our food anyway, isn't it? Two, increased risk of pathogens. Three, variety of potentially negative side effects. Could you go into that a little bit more, please? Four, unfavorable diversity. Oh, there you go. There's the, there's the log files. Whoa! What's going on out here? Who's making all that noise? What's going on out here? Whoa! What is going on? Yikes! Wow. Holy cow. I'm afraid to go over there. Something's making some weird noises. Look at this big place. Here's a machine gun turret. I'm going to repair it. There. You work for me now. Security terminal. Security terminal is for what? Turret control. Okay. Deactivate or not. Well, I mean, it's, it's working for me now, right? It's friendly. So I'm not going to mess with it. Oh, hi. How's it going? That's just me being lazy. It's just ammo. It's just ammo. It's nothing to be concerned about. Huh. I hear music playing. Which is weird, because I thought I had music turned off. Oh, it's just a folder. I thought that this was going to be... a. Uh a note to read. Huh. I got some, uh... Oh, bags of fertilizer. I need that. I need it bad. Oh, here's a little room. Kaleidopore. I don't know. Do I want these things? Probably would want them if I was doing the event. <laughs> uh, I need to go find more things to kill. Oh, wow. Am I... I didn't realize I came back up to the top. Okay. Well, there's a, there's a ton of places to go here. Charging laser sniper rifle. Is what, the restrooms probably? Yeah. Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. See, it's like he was just laying there asleep. Cracks me up. No privacy in the bathrooms when I'm around. I'll just open the freaking door. Yeah, you know, that guy was carrying some duct tape around. I wonder what he was uh, looking to fix. What's going on in the next bathroom? Anybody sleeping in here? Anybody using the restroom? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Alright. It's a restroom. Pretty big one at that. What is with this music? going on out here here's some uh, meat piles from some things I killed earlier these uh, fireflies with their bioluminescent something or other oh hey didn't see you there 
He's kind of like the same color as that computer behind him. Whoa! Well, I mean, look at how many experience points I'm getting. I'm almost to level 61, so that's kind of cool. So, at least, um... Getting the experience points, and that's why I came here. What is going on down there? Oh, it's just a turret with the light on it. What you got? Eh, nothing I want. This is neat. Wow. That's kind of scary. I wonder what fuel it's using. It's just sitting there burning. Man, how big is this place? It's freaking huge, man. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is cool, man. I, I really don't know if I'm getting a lot of experience points or not. I really don't notice usually how many experience points I get when I kill these things, so I don't know if this is good or not. Seems like it, though. Seems pretty good. Uh, somewhere around here I killed a creature, but... I'm not seeing it. I don't even know why I'm picking those up. They're pretty. Pretty sure I'm not going to be able to do anything with them. Maybe the event will kick off and I will already have picked these things. And I'll be a step ahead. Oh, ah, I found that ghoul. Cool. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Shut him up. We will be at level 61 in no time. Where was that other something or other I saw down here? I bought over there. Oh, ooh. golly, man, where's that Assaultron that I had done damage to? Haha. -ha. Got her before she was able to shoot me. Oh, there we go. There's my level up. Yay, level 61. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, this might not be the best time to do this. So now, um, well, I guess it doesn't hurt anything to open the perk pack. It's not like I'm choosing anything. I'm just going to open a perk pack, right? What was I thinking? Uh, Born Survivor, Hard Bargain, All Night Long, Chem Resisted. Wow, I don't want any of those. Protectron says to an army recruiter, I've got the metal. <laughs> Get it? Because the Protectron's made out of metal. But this is like a little play on words. Oh, the English language. It's great. Um, so now I can either pick a perk or move a point. Um, I think I want to pick a perk, I believe. So I'm going to pick a perk card. And I think I want to um, put something. I mean, I could go. I could up my um, um, commando stuff. Uh, another one that was recommended was Concentrated Fire. Um, that I haven't played around with. That might be fun. I do like to use uh, vats. So, um, that's a thought. Certainly a thought. Um, hmm, interesting. I only own one covert operative? But that's for agility. That's something else I'm going to want at some point, too, I think. Um, hmm, which one of these to get? Let's get Concentrated Fire, right? Do I want Concentrated Fire? Um, so I'm looking now, I have a, a note. Uh, I, keep, I keep track of the notes you guys leave me, the comments. And um, I'm just seeing, looks like, looks like a couple of you have suggested Concentrated Fire. Quite a few of you have, and so I feel pretty safe in uh, choosing Concentrated Fire. So, let me get back into the game here. Concentrated Fire. Let's get that. It's my first time having this. And now, we'll remove Master Picklock, and we will instead put on Concentrated Fire. Okay. Alright, that'll be interesting to see how that works. There is something walking around over there. 
torso. Hmm. How do I choose the other things to focus on? Let's see if I can get over here and use this guy as my guinea pig. Where'd he go? Oh, that's the sentry bot. Oh, great. Whoa. Oh. So, when I'm zoomed in... Um... Hmm. Oh, there's a dude up there, too. False alarm. Standing down. So, I'm on his torso. I can switch targets. Oh, okay, and the mar mouse wheel switches to... Okay, okay, that's kind of cool. It's interesting, though, because once you lose your VATS focus, your your mouse wheel starts doing, you know, switching through your quick, quick launch wheel, or whatever you call it. You gotta be careful. Right arm. So, what about legs? Okay, that was cool. We'll shoot him in the legs. That way they can't walk at me. Pretty worried about the sentry bot. Legs, legs, shoulders, arms, shoulders, head, torso, fusion cores. Oops. I want to shoot this guy. Oh! I bet you that's, that's a guy I'm not supposed to shoot. Let's see if we can clear this place out and see if that's a guy that I'm supposed to go over and talk to. He, oh, that's Quirkus. He's a friendly guy. Okay. Well, maybe he'll kick off the event. I don't know. There was no mention of Quirkus on, um, in the notes that I read, but like I said, I didn't really read him too in depth. Okay, shut him up. Take a little bit of uh, liquid refreshment. Where's this damn sentry bot, man? He's actually doing a pretty good job of hiding from me. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I could climb up there, though. Where'd you go, sentry bot? I'm actually a little nervous running around over here because I don't feel like I have a lot of cover. Where the hell did this sentry bot go? Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of like out in the open over here. Hmm. Where have you gone, sentry bot? Oh, caution, it says. Oh. Nah, it's just a dumb old eye bot. Dumb old eye bot. I ain't afraid of you. Huh. That's Quercus there. Now let's go up here, see what's going on. Oh! Torso. Head. That probably isn't the best place to hit it. Kind of looking like that's not the best place to hit it. Because I did not do much damage to it at all. I'm not doing much damage to this thing. Shoot! What? Whoa, why am I not shooting? Shoot! Ah! Oh! Damn it! Oh! Here comes the pain! Here comes the pain! Here comes the pain! No pain? Oh, there it is. Nicely played, Assaultron. <laughs> Nicely played. Luckily, that didn't do too much damage to me. I'm actually very surprised that it didn't do more damage. Hmm. So I wonder what I should be uh, focusing on when fighting these Assaultrons, because shooting it in the head certainly didn't seem to do much in the way of damaging it. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, here we've got a good old armor workbench. Do a little bit of scrappy wappy. Yeah, well, I gathered building supplies five of five. Okay, game. Pretty sure I've collected more than that. 
during the course of this game. Do another disease cure. That's good to have. Ah, uh, hear that uh, sentry bot, that hissing noise they make. See, leg, shoulders, arms, shoulders, arms, head. That did not do much damage at all. Unfortunately, I can't hit its fusion cores from here. Boy, we are not doing much damage to this thing at all. He's shooting at me, but he's... Oh, he did hit me. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I did not take this guy seriously. Oh. oh my. Holy hell. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Oh, oh geez. He's going to come up these stairs. I just know it. Wow. Wow. Holy mother. Yikes. He's lost track of us, thank goodness. Wow. This is neat. And terrifying. I didn't do nothing. Arms, shoulders, arms, shoulders, leg. After I remember that these things are quick. Ouch, Nikes. Ouchies. Is he gonna come up those stairs? He might. Still under danger. This would be cool. I wonder if this thing would help me. He saw me. The turret is helping me. I don't know how long it'll stay alive. Oh! Whoa! Wow! What the hell, man? Dude, hit me in the face, I guess. Holy cow! Well, luckily, it just respawns me right back here, so I don't have far to go. Um, if I want to pick up my crap, I believe... I don't know, I don't see it. So, a while back, I had, you know, died, and I was like, hey, where's my, um... Where's my crap? You know what I'm saying? Retrieve your dropped loot. There we go. And I was told that I need to turn it on. And I did, so thank you. That was um, very good to know. So now I know exactly where to go to get my dropped loot. This, do I go through here? Okay, go this way. All right, let's see if I can survive long enough to pick up my loot, man. Man, wasn't I almost full health when that guy hit me in the face? Damn. Oh, I saw his light over there. That's a sentry bot. Huh. Oh, oh, that is him. Duh. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a different one, or did he go all of his health back? Oh, oh, this is gonna hurt. Get out of, get out of vats. Actually, I think that he was um, probably exposing his uh, fusion cores, but they're around behind him. Okay, he sees me now, obviously. Time to um, run away and come at him from a different perspective. Because <laughs> we know that one hit can kill me, man. Whoa. Oh, that was weird. Oh, whatever. Ah. Darn it, I'm not hitting him. I mean, I realize it's only 60-something percent, but... I still want to hit him. Okay. Okay, Vats, let go. <laughs> I need to be able to run away. He's venting. I'm not doing much damage to him, but he is almost dead. And he loses track of us quickly, it seems. Where is he? Doggone it. He's venting. I've almost got him. Where the hell is he? Where are you, dude? Metal pile. That was what? Um, the uh, 
turret that used to sit there, maybe? I'm not sure. Where did this guy go, man? I don't, I don't think I killed him. If I did, I didn't get any experience points for it. Still telling me caution. I tell you what. If this is a strategy, it's a good one. Because he is pull. Did he run around over there? Is he behind me now? Man, if he came up behind me, that is brilliant. Better reload while I'm thinking about it, huh? I hear him over here now. Hissing away. Where are you, dude? Damn it, hit him. Got him. 770 experience points. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Took care of him. Alright, he was the one I was worried about. Let's see what goodies we get from him. Fusion core, some cells, circuits, and some other not as exciting stuff. Um, let's see if we can't go out here and talk to this Quirkus guy. Oh, I'll also drop, retrieve my dropped loot while I'm at it. So that's probably Quirkus right there. Let's go get my loot first. Just in case talking to this dude triggers something. Just uh, be on the safe side of things, because that's how I roll. And I'm not ashamed of it. Uh -huh. I just thought of another improvement to Formula Q. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. I was going to tell you, you needed to improve Formula Q. It was pretty weak. Alright. My bag of goodies. Nice. Cool, man. That's awesome. Eh. Whoever told me that, thank you, thank you, thank you, told me that that is a quest that I need to turn on to find my bag of crap. Wendigo teeth. Oh, sure, I'll pick that up. That's exactly what I need. Wendigo teeth. All right, come on. Let's let's go. I mean, nobody nobody cares about any of this stuff. I may want this thing at some point. Hey, what's up, Quercus? <laughs> Is he not gonna say anything? Project Paradise will really help people, won't it? I don't know. Smart human know there's a lot sub-level. Huh? You know that Erica is a very bad computer, don't you? Well, I don't know. It doesn't really say much to me. So this is all you've got to say to me. It would be wonderful if Formula Q was used in the next experiment. I'm developing a formula that helps the animals instead of hurting them. It's very nice of you. It's home not only to us, but to hundreds of wonderful species. Well, he's certainly not going to kick off an event. Well, unfortunately, I haven't seen any animals, Quercus. All living things deserve love and respect. All living things okay. deserve love and respect. Well, nice talking to you. Well, um, it was interesting that he mentioned a... He mentioned a hidden locked... He did say hidden. He said a locked sub-level. That's interesting. Uh, I wonder if it was that um, door that we came across before. The one that had the key keypad on it. Remember that? That could have been it. Um, but uh, I have not found the code for that. And I'm not sure that I will. If uh, we're not doing an event. This is interesting. Oh, man. Now this is just going to take me right back over here where I was. I 
I don't know why I'm collecting those. Uh, just damn. Um, well, let's, um... Will the experiments ever end? Will they ever begin? Another dude. Laying dead there. At the very least, those kaleidopore things tell me where I've been and where I haven't been. I mean, it's so long as I continue to pick them. If I see some unpicked, then I know that that's a place I haven't explored yet, like... Over here. Let's see if there's any other places for us to check out down here. This is different. I don't think I've been in here yet. A fat man. Well, maybe I'll learn something from fat man. I don't know. Learn something when I scrap it, I mean. Where is this going to take us? Something dead in here. When was I in here? I don't think I've been in here. So how did that thing end up dead? I mean, normally if, you know, a different person or entity kills something, then I can't loot it. But I was able to loot that, so... Makes me think I killed it, but I don't think I did. I don't think I've been in here. I think this is a new area. What do we got here? We've got some of these fire caps growing. Gotta pick those up. There's some wildlife in there. That's kind of interesting, right? Oh, that's a weird door. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, oh crap. Oh, crap. Ouchies. <laughs> Figures it would be a freaking Assaultron. Boy, my health is really going up slowly. Danger. Haha, uh -huh, he missed me. Oh man, firing again. I didn't know they could shoot that quickly. Wow, okay. I thought they had to recharge. There's like some special assault runs. 251 experience points. Not too shabby. Yeah, I was just thinking about how, before I ran into that thing, I was just like running around like there was nothing to be afraid of. Well, the game taught me a lesson. Luckily, I didn't pay with my life. Yeah, we didn't learn anything from the fat man. But that's okay. Pretty neat what they did with the chalkboards in here. It's a nice touch. It looks um looks like they've been like actually in use with actual interesting information on them. Biome Lab Code Fragment A. Ooh. Automated access code forest biome A. Maintenance access code partial 97. Valid oh, only for those dates. <laughs> We're trapped in the lower level. Send help, and I'll explain everything. I locked, I locked in this code, so it should still be valid. Okay, so we only know part of the code, and it was just laying there on a piece of paper that looks exactly like these folders. So it seems like it's going to be pretty easy to miss it.
I wonder if the code um, stays the same. Like, so I picked up that half of the code there, and then let's say I leave and I come back and visit this place later. Will that code piece still be valid? Interesting. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool to just be able to kind of explore this place at our leisure, our, our relative leisure, comparing it to, I'm sure, what would have been absolute and total chaos if we were doing the event. Hey, get away from me, you diseased thing. Oh, damn it, it hit me anyway. Well, luckily, it doesn't look like I picked up a disease from it. What the? You okay there, dude? <laughs> this place is very, very quiet. There's just so much... So much more to explore, it looks like. Golly, I can't believe how big this place is. Ooh, got some... Uh, gourds and melons. And Radaways. Right oh, hey, how's it going? That was a lot of damage I did to that guy. Did you see that? 1246 damage? Damn. Yikes. That's a lot of damage. It had to hurt. Um, well, getting to the point where I need to end this episode. I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, I was kind of hoping that maybe I would stumble across the other piece of the code. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Um, you would think that the other piece of the code would be, um... On a desk or something. Oh, I don't want the sink. I wanted the soap. I ah, dog on it. I accidentally took a drink from the sink. See these folders? They look exactly like that piece of paper that we picked up. Feeder pump? Yeah, that's what it says. Let's run up into these offices here. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh crappity. Let's take this guy out ASAP. Oh crap. Oh. He took a lot of hits, man. I'm gonna guess that maybe the head isn't the best place to hit him. Animal research. Wow, it looks like I've just found the cool part of this place, man. Animal testing research terminal. What we're looking for could very well be on that terminal. Got some quarterly logs here. Project White Mouse, Dr. Joseph M. Mazub. Prototype genomic centrifuge and feeding trough. Quarterly progress reports. Everything finalized, oh, engineering finalized the blueprints on the centrifuge and trough. Materials are being delivered this month. We expect to have some of the framework built out by the end of the quarter. I thought they were crazy when they proposed an underground biome lab to me, but this thing is truly a marvel of modern engineering. If we pull this off, we can perform all kinds of testing with variables completely controlled. And the fact that it's away, away from prying eyes, well, that's a nice bonus. Second quarterly log. Both prototypes are built, but we're having some problems with the electrical or with electrical on the genomic centrifuge. The robot's been programmed to handle the animals. I'm all for time saved by automation, but in this case, I really hope it's worth it. The thing talks to everyone like it's talking to a dog. Third quarter, I'm guessing. Set of three there. We're finally up and running with all systems nominal and the techs are working out some minor bugs with the code. We're submitting a list of animal test subjects to corporates. 
Oh, to corporate. <laughs> Currently awaiting approval, but we should be good to go soon. I get most of the animals on this list, but a sloth? The biology team is a weird bunch, but I guess everyone plays their parts. And the final log says, the list of animal test subjects have been approved. Subjects are being delivered on a daily basis. For the most part, they're acclimating to the habitats we built for them, except for the sloths. But I could have told them that would happen. We encountered a few issues with the temperature regulator in Habitat B, but nothing engineering can't handle. Testing will commence this quarter. We're on track to deliver results that will even blow corporate projections out of the water. Well, um, unfortunately, well, apparently there's something in Wendigo teeth that I'm interested in. Fortunately, uh, I need to end this episode. Uh, <laughs> But it was cool to come down here and explore this place, right? I mean, we we saw some neat stuff. And it looks like there's a lot more neat stuff to see. Um, well, there's a security gate there. When we start up the next episode, I have to imagine that uh, the game is going to put me outside of this place. I've been playing for an hour, and an event never kicked off. So, uh, to me, I don't know, maybe that means that the event is no longer, which is a shame. Uh, maybe it means that I just simply don't know how to kick it off, although I'm pretty sure I was doing the right thing by talking to Eric up there. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, wow, a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a bummer, but the good thing is, is that uh, I did get a lot of experience points. Uh, we leveled up once, and that was cool. And if we look at our uh, experience points now, eh, we're about a quarter of a way up to level 62, so perhaps if we spent more time down here, um, we would uh, make our way up to the next level. And be able to do more fun stuff. All right, I need, to, I need to end this episode, like I said. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. And if you know anything about this pro this event, if it's still a valid event, if there's a way to kick it off, uh, please let me know. I'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Sure hope you join me again in the next episode.